and ours not. And then after that, our ball's going in and there's not. Mm -hmm. That's kind of it. Anything about what you guys were able to execute down the stretch, or it was just plain and simple ball? Oh. Mm -hmm. Now, we missed a lot of open shots during that stretch. Mm -hmm. And then when we got the lead, they missed some open shots. So, this, you know, basketball's not a game of rocket science. So, when you start analyzing this thing, I just remember the old coach. I'm not near as smart as you guys, but I, I, I know that it's a simple game. When the ball goes in, sometimes it's making miss. Um, I thought our defense was good. Uh, we guarded them. Um, uh, and we did a great job of uh, defensive rebounding. And we had to. Is there, uh, you know, anytime you can hold them to 35% from the floor in their gym in the second half, they scored 28 points. Uh, you guys you guys from New Orleans know better than me, but I think they were averaging about uh, 85 points a game. In conference play, 88. 88. Is that overall or just in this gym? Overall. What do you think about that? 88 points overall, and we hold them to uh, 28 points second half. And we, so at halftime, um, we knew there was a couple things that we are getting a little loose on. Uh, and this is our 19th game. So as a coach, you know where you're, you're, where you're having a little slippage. You know, they, they came out hot, then we tightened down and guarded them really good for a long time. And then, um, then we had some time and score situations. For instance, I didn't call my use it or lose it timeouts in the first half, right? Um, but we had a... Uh, Mark got an offensive rebound. We got a couple offensive rebounds. All of a sudden, the last one, the ball was, the, the uh, shot clock was under 30. So now that's, and we work on time and score all the time. So time and score situation dictated that we bring the ball out and hold it for one, and I have the option of using my, using my user to lose it, right? But I didn't, because Tremont, instead of bringing it out, shot it, and, and, and so we were at 40-28. So instead of 40-28, it's now 40-32. Because, because of a poor decision. Uh, but those are the things that you work on as coaches. You know, put, put those things in the uh, hopper, go to practice, and uh, uh, use that situation to get better. Our freshmen, our freshmen especially, will learn from that. Um, what could you say about Satsu's recent form and what his, um, his scoring ability and composure in an environment like this does for the team? Yeah. Um, you know, we've had so many guys step up in key moments. Uh, the freshman Arsenal, I remember, was really good at uh, Oregon. Um, uh, Walker and Mark both were really good at Virginia. Uh, Cincinnati, we have two or three guys really good. But Marcus, you know, just playing okay. Not playing bad. You know, don't confuse shooting poorly with playing bad. A lot of times you don't make shots, but you're playing great. Marcus always plays really good, but he, he hasn't shot the ball well until recently. But nobody puts more time in it, and I've always believed that it, eventually it, your work, your your work, and your uh, sweat equity uh, will pay off. And Marcus is too good a shooter. He's, he's missing a ton of wide open shots, um, but he's learned to trust his teammates too. He, he didn't have to go work for him as hard. That's, that's why this is a really good passing team. Walker's a really good passer. Um, uh, Roberts is a really good passer. Obviously, Shed and Tremont. Tremont's a good playmaker. So once once he realized that, um, you know, guy, guys that are, uh, you know, scouts are following, and we've had a ton of NBA guys, um, and that's a blessing that we've had, you know, whether it was Nate Hedden or Quentin Grimes or, Marty Brooks, uh, go down the list. Uh, Dejan Giroux, we've got a bunch of NBA guys. NBA guys look at, and and you got to be careful that that you got to be careful in your uh, teaching to them, uh, not to let that affect how you play. You're not playing for them; you're playing for your teammates. What is it we need from you to help us win? Uh, some nights it may be six assists and ten points. Some nights it might be twenty points and no assists. Based on how they uh, guard you, but uh, 